Hey, what's up? People Piz out here. And today I want to share with you guys an article from the Washington post.com entitled don't throw out your DVDs. They're your best protection against corporate censorship. Now this is a really interesting article. I highly recommend you guys check it out. I'll post a link to it in the description because the article really hits home for me as a proponent of physical media, because I think it showcases just how important the preservation of physical media is and how much I hope physical media never dies. Now the article uh, or the author of the article, Sonny Bunch touches upon um, really he sort of summarizes all of these points that point to the death of physical media from the announcement from Samsung that they're going to get out of the uh, Blu-ray player production business to how, you know, people are seemingly more, they, they, they much prefer accessibility when it comes to media over quality. And so watching a movie or whatever other piece of media um, it may be, you know, on their cell phone, is fine for them (laughs) as opposed to watching it on a movie screen or watching it on a really nice widescreen television in a, as the article notes, a criterion collection caliber 4k transfer. The article also touches on something that um, I did a video on months ago and that's how uh, basically cloud ownership of a piece of media is not real ownership. (laughs) of that piece of media, you're more or less just renting it and it's, it's accessibility uh, or your access to it at any given time. It's entirely up to the whims of our corporate overlords as the article uh, states. But the part of the article that really hit home to me is um, when the article discusses how James L. Brooks, the executive producer of The Simpsons, told the Wall Street Journal that the season three episode Stark Raving Dad, which featured Michael Jackson, was being pulled from circulation and would no longer be included on future DVD and Blu-ray box sets of season three of The Simpsons. And this is, of course, in light of the HBO documentary Leaving Neverland. Now, I think this sets a very, very dangerous precedent when it comes to media and when it comes to media from many, many years ago that people today are finding offensive or obscene or controversial. Now, if you guys recall, not long ago, The Simpsons got into some hot water over the character of Apuna Hasapima Petalon, who people were saying was a, you know, uh, a very racist caricature of an Indian person. And it looked like there for a while that the Simpsons were going to kill off Apu. Hank Azaria, who does the voice of Apu, basically disavowed the character, never wanted to do Apu again. Um, but that controversy kind of died down. I'm not sure if Apu is still a part of the show or how big a part of the show he is today. But if James L. Brooks will remove this episode of The Simpsons uh, due to a documentary about one of the special guests on that episode, you know, at what point are people going to go, okay, well, what about a poo? Remember he's a racist caricature of Indian people. Shouldn't you pull all episodes of the Simpsons that feature him from circulation and make sure that those episodes are not included in future box sets of the Simpsons or at least edit him out of all of those episodes. Um, and I think this sets a very, very dangerous precedent, as I said, when it comes to media from decades ago that was not considered offensive or obscene or controversial that by today's standards is considered obscene, offensive or controversial. Are we going to uh, erase that piece of media? from, uh, you know, history. Are we going to, you know, do the 21st century equivalency of a book burning (laughs) and book and, and burn all physical forms of that release in order to cleanse it from, (laughs) uh, 
you know what I mean? Um, existence. At what point are the uh, arbiters of morality by today's standards going to say, you know what? Eddie Murphy's raw. Uh, back in the day, it was not that offensive. Today, it is incredibly offensive. It needs to be removed from existence. And Eddie Murphy needs to make a public apology for that 40 year old comedy film. Um, we're living in a very troubling time where the culture is so easily offended by everything. And the reaction to if, the reaction is that offends me. It needs to be destroyed. And that is very, very scary. That is very, very troubling. Um, at what point does that spill over into other mediums? At what point does that spill over into music, into art, into, I mean, you name it. I find that offensive. It needs to be destroyed. It needs to be removed from existence and never mentioned again. Um, I'm really concerned <laughs> about that. But if you own a physical copy of that piece of media, that today is considered offensive. If you own that piece of media physically, if it's on your shelf, it cannot be edited. It cannot be removed from existence because it's, it's right there in your hand. It's right there in your, on your shelf. If you own it in a cloud service, it can be taken out of the cloud and it can either never be put back in the cloud or an edited version could be put back into the cloud. If you own the physical version of that piece of media, you are preserving that piece of media's history, its legacy. That's how important physical media is. That's why you should not get rid of your physical media um, for digital media, because you're a, you don't own that digital media and B it could be removed or severely edited based on whatever the moral standards are of that moment. And I absolutely love the closing paragraph of this article in which the author says, because here's one thing that's never going to happen. James L. Brooks is never going to march into my basement, rifle through my shelves, and abscond with my DVD collection of the third season of The Simpsons. An attachment to physical media remains the best defense against corporate censorship in a world where making problematic products disappear is becoming easier than ever. A freaking men. Please let me know your thoughts on... All of this down in the comment section below. Again, check out the article, a great article. Come back. Let me know your thoughts on the article. Let me know your thoughts on the future of physical media. Let me know your thoughts on, you know, whether you think this is opening up a Pandora's box that could see a lot of media from the past that by today's standards could be considered obscene, offensive, or controversial you know, either severely edited or just outright removed. Again, it's it's the 21st century equivalent of of book burning, in my opinion. Just let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. But I think that this article is exhibit A in uh, why the preservation of physical media is so essential. If you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching, or in this case, listening. Take care, and until next time, peace. 
Join the Abuka Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Mitch O'Dell, Farron Sutton, Craig Farrand, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Joseph Charlesworth, Chris Earls, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, Mr. Bibby86, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Alan Scott, Kyle McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Lauren Dick. Dixon, Travis Davis, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Parsons, Chris Gonzalez, Trenton Bowser, and Jason Brattenback. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.